Oh, that's fast. Oh. If you found this tape, it means that everyone is dead. Or wow. working at a different office. How did this happen? Well, I'll tell you. Buckle up, buckaroos. Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. Okay, I never played Fallout before. June 2018. It began with everyone getting... I see the videos of it. It's a fun game. Long enough, guys? Oh god, yes, Tom we Howard. have Todd. I think we have. Oh god, yeah. Fallout 76, Bethesda's biggest game yet. My god, it was exciting. And they promised we'd know more at E3. E3 hype time. The press conference. Rest, rest in PC 16 times the detail. 16 times the detail. All new rendering, lighting, and landscape wow. technology. Four times the map size. It is four times the size Hell yeah. of Fallout 4. And it's our biggest one yet. My god, it was exciting. <laughs> Uh-oh, here it comes. November 14th, the 2018. Launch. The game goes live the with a day one launch. patch of 50 gigabytes. What? Oh my god, 45 oh, gigabytes. That Once big? that's downloaded, people start logging into uh -oh. the Hellscape. Oh, oh. the graphics glitch. And, oh dear. Anyone watching, keep your button. eyes away from seizures. Goodbye world, goodbye oh. next. Oh, goodbye oh. Body. oh. What the bugs, bugs, bugs. Oh, bugs. Jesus. Bugs server Bugs crashes, game crashes, old bugs imported from Fallout 4, oh, use more than one oh new time, uh, server's dead, textures far too oh textures, and all oh, 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 Jesus, they forgot to test it before the releasing it, frame rate problems, screen yeah, problems, they did. getting too swole, getting underneath the map, getting attacked, oh my god, enemies, spawning too many enemies, kind of oh, myself. robots, spawning too many god rays, also your camp resets after every session, and sometimes it goes you can, <laughs> yeah, you can build it? Yeah, you can build it. But too many holotapes oh, mean none of the no. people play. In Fallout AI can build. is far more A than I. Animations are broken. Surprise. <laughs> oh my god. Traveling merchant. Just to name a few. Joseph Anson has a great video that documents just the ones that he found personally. <laughs> that video oh is god. three hours long. That's how many posts there are. Error CE348780 can corrupt your data and force you to reinstall the game and console operating system. A few pieces. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Also, when the date rolled over to the 1st of January 2019, oh. the nukes in the game oh stopped my working all God. Together. No one thought it prudent to program in other years in an always online game. And a few players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. Uh oh. This guy had oh. a 78 oh, character that was randomly replaced with a oh, level God. 3 character. What a level thing! Oh, said they Jesus. couldn't do anything oh, about it. Oh, we can't help you. We can't help you. If yeah, you many lost players your are not thrilled oh, well. with this game. Oh, that's BS. We're 4,000. And they want everyone that's else fucking to BS. Do that too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes, it is. Banned for racism. Banned for locked. They had no direct outlet for their rage. The only solution was to put a torch to everything else. Oh my god! Twitter. <laughs> Bethesda's other games on Steam. The backlash was immense. Six reviews the only man. Ones would prevail. Uh oh, the, the reviews would come out and say that the game isn't so bad. Nope, IGN says screw oh, this. Oh, they hate it. This is so sad. Despacito, play Country Roads. What the? Almost oh, God. The HUD's like glitching. Oh, my God. And the YouTube community. Oh, my Jesus. It's really fucking boring. I could barely bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. Hey, no one on staff wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not gonna subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking mess. In short, Fallout 76 Jesus. is morally, technically, I'm and creatively sure better nobody than wants the mods to. on Bethesda forums were working over. <laughs> that gift. The mods oh, all God. Up. I have that gift. Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. 
but what I am saying is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. So what happened? Well, uh -oh. it came out that development was hugely yeah, rushed. Seems... Tom Howard, you could have done better! Too tight. Plus, this wasn't oh, Bethesda's just... A-Team. It's actually a relatively inexperienced division based in Austin, and the scope of the game kept getting bigger. We're gonna need distant weather systems. Hey Todd, I stayed up all night and I just We're finished We're gonna need 16 Yo, times the We're gonna need 16 Please. times Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size of Fallout 4. <laughs> four times We're the gonna need this. We're gonna need that. The old creation engine into a multiplayer framework. What else Level bugs and patches. That's why I give my kids Fallout 76. Nah, we're gonna need distant weather systems. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh no, the exploits. The players. But what they couldn't tolerate were the exploits. Oh. Infinite Red inventory, hole. infinite invisibility. The frame rate was oh. tied to the game speed, so people were going a lot faster than they should. Oh Server hop, more items, infinite cash, and infinite duplicates. Still got the, the unlimited the, XP, unlimited nuking. The nuclear codes were unencrypted, and you could wall clip into the quest room. And so wow. was the curse of infinite invincibility. Oh, Fantastic. This can really mess with other players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer just oh. and a blindfold oh, just just a no. around to take down anyone who happened by. But Bethesda wasn't satisfied with just banning people. No, they are still untested with big ideas. They wanted to give a road to redemption. So support sent out this email to players called oh, cheating. No. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game. Essay? What the hell's that? Right. Five hundred words on why you're a fuck? very naughty boy, essay. and they may just give you. Why an knowledge. essay? But a what's, couple of days what's, later, what's the an essay? news outlets caused them to reconsider. No, they had to like write an essay of why. Why exploit? Third-party cheats are different. Every item in the game is. Oh no, the dev room. Top notch. Oh. Oh. Could just waltz in and take all of the best items of the game, and it would be an absolute oh my God. disaster. Uh, Wait, also, why well, is there a dev room? Shit. Of course, the dev room is it has the all the items. People started flooding in, in, taking the best items in the game. All the items, items are there. Oh my God! God. Yep. At first, they tried the usual approach. Oh, they had some of the best items in the game. You spent seven hundred hours just to get the best gun. Die, cheater. Next, oh, they put in a system where players would get tagged if they ever entered the room. Nice. And they banned those players. Ooh. That wasn't much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Get in quick with a level 1 account. <laughs> get all that good shit. Then oh get the God. Account. That then makes use sense. Then duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. Then transfer also that makes stuff sense. to your main account. And you're good to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mr. Zen takes out this level 1 and calls it a mission. Gun. And Bam. you just beat in the game. And you have all so the stuff, and continue. they only kill the Bethesda smart, is right? running out of ideas to solve it. <laughs> There's a lot of speculation in the media and among players about how exactly people are getting in, but no one except for the exploiters knows for sure. That said, Bethesda well, needs does. to act fast before it ruins the? the economy of the game. So they wrote another email and sent it out oh, to the Smurfs. No. Oh. Uh, hello, Cheetah. There she is. Tell us how you did it, and we might unban you. Please? <laughs> if we're not hear back from you, then come to the end of the spend it. It's not known whether this approach works. Thanks. But from Jeez. what I've seen, nice it's still try possible talking. to get into the dev room. Oh, silly Tom, Tom Howard. 2nd, 2018. We're not Until gonna stop. Release, the game goes on discount. From 60 to $40. To 35 to 30 you can find it for 15 on eBay, and in Germany, they're straight up giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation controller. Also, oh, some stores are just zip tying awesome. it to other products. <laughs> but to Bethesda, it's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero, because it brings people into the Atomic Shop, which is where the real margins are, and it inflates the poor sales figures. Let's have a look at those. The latest figures show 76 sold less than a sixth of what Fallout 4 did. Not good. Oh my There's god. Also oh, a mess of good good of hard copies. Because of modding. What's the point of a hard copy when the thing is just a cardboard disc telling you to redeem an online code? Oh, for oh. God's While sake. While sales are low, returns are high. Immediately upon release, people began asking Bethesda for a refund. 76 is not on Steam. It's on Bethesda's own platform. So they have all the Whoa. control. 
If players only played the game for a few hours, then generally they'd get their money back. However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Quite generous. But then word about this spread to forums. Then to Reddit, and a post got 12,500 upvotes and 40 oh. This made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the oh. comments told them exactly Yo. Bethesda was flooded with requests for refunds. Oh my god. And their response? Shut it down, lads. No. No. No one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Robot customer service man in game. Oh, yes. Customers yeah. who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. A few things. <laughs> oh, did that on purpose. Mad. One hardcore gamer even trashed a GameStop for refusing his refund. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> he raged. This fool raged. A bit of an overreaction, but probably also fake. Second, the media. Probably. Oh. And third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy and terms of service may refund not be strictly strategy. legal. <laughs> refund denied. On November 27th, 2018, Miglachio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. Media quickly picked up on that. Their main argument is that it's a sometimes oh. unplayable oh my game God. owing to its technical Jesus. problems. Then there are no refunds, and the Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway. Make sure the a warning warning seizure the there. State. Oh. Yeah. Updates on this lawsuit is slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Let's rewind a little bit. Back to work. fans made their pre-orders, and the most dedicated oh, the pre pre-ordered the power of The mascot. Wow. Um. It came with a helmet, box, don't Mac, fall for it. Army toys, and a genuine West Tech canvas bag. Fast forward to the release. And the customers notice that their precious bags, which are supposed to be made of the finest canvas and land. Ooh. It was supposed to be big. Look at it. Different. Bruh. In fact, it looks like a carry bag the real bag should come in. Bruh. Do they really just advertise oh. one thing and deliver another? You can't do that. So there was a surge of backlash, and people began emailing Bethesda, asking for refunds, asking for answers. By this point, customer service is absolutely over it. They are done with the facade, oh. and they send this email in Damn. response. Hello, we are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything what? about it. I'm sorry? That's the yes. whole email. Staff at Bethesda are finally in contempt in Oh my now god. The internet goes wild. It feels pizza. Wow. Wow. Well, I got so mad, I shaved everything off my face. Okay, guys, this oh is a bit of a pizza. We have to quell the outrage. Damn. What do we do? Well, How do we compensate this, this currency. Issue. Let's just give them the minimum amount of that. <laughs> That's your compensation. Three hundred dollars for the power oh, hour. Five hundred. Is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game currency. Then you'll be out. Oh. Seriously? Items. Fuck yeah! What are you gonna do with your atoms? I'm gonna buy five eighteenths of the white paint version of the power armor. <laughs> Not oh. enough points. What about you? Like wood laminate. Like wood That's laminate. Like five like dollars. Or <gasps> <gasps> the bag. He's right. Fuck the bag. Like wood laminate. Like wood laminate. Like wood laminate. Like I don't think laminate. anyone would do that. Like of course, wood laminate. This was Bethesda's fantasy of what would happen. What really happened is further outrage, and even the media started piling on. Oh my God. <laughs> So it even became part of that class action lawsuit from earlier. Bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their Kirk Wait, customer service oh. and gave a different excuse for why. Oh, they no, didn't no, no, bags. no. A shortage you can't of material, do that. Apparently, that was quickly debunked. Because it turns out they did make the canvas bag, except they gave them all out to influencers. Oh, dear. Oh, oh it's not no. the same one, of course. But it's sourced from that oh. ever scarce material canvas. But what's more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game. If you don the postman's oh. outfit, which of course can be found at the Atom Shop, for 700 atoms. Ooh, just short. 
Oh, well, the well, leaking from the online community continued, and Bethesda's lawyers realized there would be trouble. So they decided to capitulate. All right, fine. We'll make your precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, personal details, oh, address, no. etc. Cetera, et cetera, no. And we'll oh, no. the bag to you in four to that six bad? months. Four to six months? It doesn't quite end there. Four to six months? And Bethesda is known for bugs. Four to six months. Their website months. Is on bugs right. too. Turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and what open to the public. That? In fact, people can open and close the chat room at will. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses, and more. If you've requested oh. a canvas bag, you've just been doxxed. Oh, fuck no. Yeah, because you Not provided your address, your real name, and possibly and your credit card number or debit card number. And that and is due the to the, the website being buggy, people have access How to be able to look so at your they made order oh, number. No. So you One just been doxxed. A rum drink. Oh, oh shit. Pre-orders available in September. Shipped out on November 4th. Oh, uh, $80. They or may not be doxxed. It's so evil. Not cheap. But in return, you got a very cool bootle. Looks good on the shelf. A great not worth the doxxed over. For the stuff. Stuff. Or at least it would have been. November 14th came and went, and there was no rum. Oh. Uh, okay. A week later on November 21st, an email comes through. Ooh. There's a delay. Things aren't up delay. to the usual Fallout standard, they say. Delay? Fallout Golly. Standard. Fallout standard. <laughs> All of this just works. Things aren't up to the usual Fallout standard. So we'll have it for you soon. No specific date given. Oh. One week later. Nothing. <laughs> the <laughs> French. Another email. <laughs> Good news, Ooh. we start shipping on December 12th. It's been nearly awesome. three months since you pre-ordered. But as a show of good faith, what? we made this promotional Super video. long. Oh, look at and this is where this things like... went from tardy is this like to retardy. Collab? Right there. Did you catch that? Basically a rum It's just a regular thing. industry bottle and oh. a plastic shell. We oh. paid $80 and waited a quarter of a year for a plastic what? shell? Wow. People were not happy. Look at we were supposed here. to get a glo- Oh my Nothing god, god look at the dislikes on that one. Shell. Super plain, we were promised. And the media agreed. It was supposed to be glass! Why do we need a Yeah, that was going to be glass, but it's a plastic box. They got shell. scanned. They got scammed. People began cancelling their orders. First they got docs, and so now they got scammed. To convince people that it's not uh, again. Shitty. It actually costs as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Then what the fuck? We we spent a hundred hours coding the design, convincing stuff. I so feel sorry for for the people who played for Christmas. The rum is about the quality. I do as well. Who played seventy six? Can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour oh, inside the shell. Oh, oh my god. god! How they made this damn thing? I spilled like half the shot. Very dribbly. So oh my off god! Thing up to prevent spilling. Careful. If you do that, there's a Careful. good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Any liquid will immediately ruin this cheap paper sticker. Some made their own at home, and the quality was about on par. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're, they're on going Etsy. Etsy. They're far cheaper. Oh my they actually god! Give a shit. Not gonna lie though, they're... some of the memes that came out <laughs> of this were pretty good. <laughs> the bowling ball? Wow. Yeah, many claim that this yeah, was an honest mistake. Making fun of the design of the Nuka Cola. Well, the customers were at fault for misinterpreting and the ambiguous marketing. Plastic I disagree. Thing. All of the marketing shows other glass items. All of the mock-ups show something more Jeez. akin to frosted glass than plastic. They give Bad. plenty of descriptions of the product too, and not once do they mention plastic. And they were engaged in a bunch don't. of other tomfuckery as well. Bunch of clowns. The product was even available. They flooded Shaking my head. reviews with a bunch of five stars. This raised some eyebrows, and people on Reddit even called them out for it. So they deleted them. You can see this activity on the Wayback Machine. Oh my god. Now, if they're happy to deceive people in this way, it seems silly Thank God for Wayback Machine. ...about the glass. It's also worth quickly talking about the Bethesda merch store. Merch. Some of these items are pretty neat. That's cool. Good idea. I'd have that. Fallout 76 Singular. 
But what yeah, really really man. The photography is all just slightly off. This cool new jacket was mocked relentlessly on social media. They're kind of similar. It on the ground. <laughs> and it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an eye on? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who looked at this and said, good job, print? Nobody did. Now that's surprising. Stole out. Okay. They made the bottle properly. Yeah, they made the bottle. One of those, please, but bigger and brown. Is that Aww. so hard? Let's get back to the game. December 2018. There are two Did new patches for the stir. The good. Oh. For PC, they included a number of quality of life improvements, including push to talk. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> field of view sliders. Oh, Hooray. wow! Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds, and a small buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! Awesome. They decreased so, the weight of bobby pins, so it no longer took up 10 to 20 percent so. of people's inventory. I got a box of bobby pins the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> <laughs> it also upgrades to the camp or that allowed for easier construction and a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We lost karma. A whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs. It's a big nerf gun. They generally made the game grindier. Emo production was decreased. Fusion oh. was burnt out faster. Legendary <laughs> enemies spawned less frequently. On guard. I'll f*** you up. And the backlash was significant what? because everybody knew why Bethesda was doing it. To encourage people oh. to use the atomic shop. Oh. And let's talk briefly about that Oh my store. goodness. Oh no, the emotes scandal. Outrageous. A Christmas tree What's for the scandal? $12. Christmas tree? A Santa outfit for $20. Blue and yellow paint for $18. Oh look, oh. $3 for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout 4. But the biggest offense oh. was the holiday emote bundle. $24 for some Christmas themed emotes. Twice the price of these games. Uh. We agreed that these were egregious have, prices. I'll pay seven. But worse, I have they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices too. I do too. Oh, look, deceiving marketing practices. Price. Fortunately, I but do not, not anymore. It was released. I have the price. original and the. They're remakes. artificially jacking up the price. Oh, wow. Only to then nice. get a fake limited time discount in order to create what? a sense of urgency. That's illegal. Here in Australia, at least. Yeah, because Canada originally it was just 1200. Riddick quickly 1, picked up on this and pointed out. But they changed it to 2400 to make it look like and it's on setting discount it as always when it originally price. isn't not. Oh, that's okay, so bullshit. Five so, now, so I'm just going to leave it. So here. scummy I indeed. I need a chance to touch on the new page. Can't believe they do that. The new camera item that lets you teleport, dwindling player numbers. Oh. But on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the game over time. They better. No Man's Sky was a surprising comeback. So, maybe Bethesda can do it too. But for now, Todd Skyrim returns two. to cryostasis. Hiding in his bunker until the bombs of outrage <laughs> stop falling. Proceed and returning only when it's time in. to get our hopes up. Once again, please make sure that this man does not come out of his pod. True. He needs to be frozen all in eternity. That's it. All right. <laughs> that's it. Yep, that's it. All right. All right.